prayer, but it's especially recited on the High Holidays and on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Uh, it talks about God's compassion and His mercy and, of course, the most appropriate prayer for the High Holidays. Hashem, Hashem, kerachum v'chanun, erech hapayim v'rab chesed v'emes, noitzer chesed la. The following prayers are from the Amida that we recite. Some of it is from the daily Amida, but some of it is specifically for the holidays for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And at the end of it, we say Mechayah Meitim, which means God who is the giver of life or who revives the ones who are dead. Someone one time came to the Lubavitch Rebbe and asked if Judaism believes in reincarnation. And the Rebbe responded that yes, we do believe in it. But you don't have to wait to pass to have reincarnation. When we return to God and we do mitzvahs and when we do teshuva, we can have reincarnation of our own lives today. <laughs>
Shabbat or on the holidays is, of course, the Torah reading. When we read the weekly portion or the portion for the holiday, when we take out the Torah and when we return the Torah, there are special prayers which are recited with very famous tunes, and we hope you can join along. Yeah. 
יחד, 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 כולם קדושו לכל אישה לישו, כולם קדושו לכל אישה לישו.
and you're stuck with the way it is. God runs the world and He decides whatever happens. The following prayer that we say tells us that it's not so. It concludes that Teshuvah, Tefillah, Tzedakah, when we do Teshuvah, when we return to God, when we pray to God, and when we do charitable acts and give charity, we have the ability to change the decree that God has made. And if something negative was going to happen, we have the ability through our actions to make an effect. And God will see that, see our action, and give us a blessing for a new year.
the proclamation of the unity and the oneness of God who we have just crowned, recrowned again this year as our master and our king. <laughs> Oh, shit, 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 oh,
we conclude asking the prayer from God that already by this year, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we should be celebrating together in Jerusalem and Israel and the Holy Land with our Holy Temple, with the coming of Mashiach very, very soon, even today. Thank you for joining me.